Hi there and welcome again to another analytic geometry lesson. We're looking at the angle of inclination in this lesson. Uh, now what is the angle of inclination? The angle of inclination is the angle made with the with the right side of the x-axis axis okay so here we have a line okay and the angle of inclination is here's the the part of this line that um, is on the right side of the x-axis you can maybe say the positive x-axis I sometimes use that the positive x-axis what angle is it making there so there we go this is the angle that it is making with the positive x-axis now again what what we will do in order to find this angle of inclination is we will simply create a right angled triangle so we just drop a vertical any place it really doesn't matter any place I just want to show you at a right angled triangle there and then you'll notice what we're trying to find again everything is in terms of a, uh, x and y so this is uh, supposed to be y this is y this is x everything is in terms of x and y so what you'll notice in this triangle is that if I can get this distance here which we've looked at before and this distance here and we're using vertical and horizontal distances okay then I have tangent I've got opposite and I've got adjacent and so tan of theta is opposite which is this distance which is a change in y and this distance which is a change in x so it's a change in y over a change in x and if you've watched the previous video that is simply the gradient in other words tan of theta and that comes from uh, trig lessons if you don't know what I mean by tan of theta you'll have to refer back to those but tan of theta is equal to the gradient in other words the tangent of the of the inclination angle is equal to the gradient To the gradient so if we were trying to find the inclination angle we would take so the inclination angle and let's do this in color this is exciting the inclination angle is equal to arc tan okay arc tan of the gradient okay that will give me if I take so let's take for an example if I had a half okay my gradient is equal to a half well then what would the inclination angle be well the inclination angle will be arc tan of a half actually let's let's do one let's make it easy just so that I don't have to use a calculator at this stage so let's make it easy take this one away let's say we're working with with a gradient of 1 then what is the angle now we know that if the gradient is 1 it means I take one step forward and one step up now hopefully you know that that means it's a perfectly 45 degree angle so if the gradient is a 1 it's actually very easy the inclination angle is 45 degrees but let's see arc tan of 1 is if even if you use your calculator if you know your special angles um, tan of arc tan of 1 is equal to 45 degrees great now what if however I had a line like this let me draw you a little bit more challenging line I draw a line here okay now notice and I'm sorry that I'm going to have to write over my um, my working at this point but now the angle of inclination that I want is this angle okay that angle 
or the angle made with the positive axis can also be that angle can be either one of the two now the problem is that when we work um, with the bottom part we will have to go in the negative direction which means that this angle will have a negative answer so let's see if we can figure it out um, if you are going to use arctan at this point notice that the angle here is now going to be more than 90 degrees this angle is more than 90 degrees which means tan hopefully again from uh, from our what is it called from our trig you know that an angle in the second quadrant more than 90 degrees will give me a negative answer for tan sine is positive here and here tan is positive here and negative there so we'll get a negative answer so if we take the arc tan of a negative answer it's going to give us a negative angle so if I show you that an example the gradient of negative one what is that the inclination angle of that that's the arc tan of negative one gives me and now if you use your calculator to find that answer you will get negative 45 degrees in other words your calculator answer will always give you the gradient um, the, a sharp angle uh, not sharp angle it's um, uh, well it is a sharp angle I suppose an acute angle it will always give you an acute angle so if it's negative it's giving you this angle here but now you know if this one is 45 then that one is 45 and if this whole thing is supposed to go if I went from here all the way there it would have been 180 which means that I'm not going all the way I must subtract 45 degrees so this angle at this point would be 180 minus 45 which is 135 degrees okay so now and you can see it's opt um, obtuse it's more than 90 degrees okay so this formula gives us a great the great ability to find the angle and all I need to do is use a little bit of common sense a little bit of uh, trigonometry to to work out some solutions now what I want to do at this point is just clean this out and just pose for you another problem okay so let's suppose that we have at this stage a line or well, let's actually say let's make do this we've got a point So let's say I have three points here and I have point A, B and point C and I was given these points I know their values they, or their coordinates their coordinates are known to me um, I'm not going to make them known but uh, and I am asked to find the angle A, B, C okay so I would connect these points just so that I can understand what they're asking me for and I can see they're asking me for this angle right here okay now how would I be able to find that angle right there now keep in mind I can go and find this angle which, which angles can I find with the knowledge that I've learned in this in this topic I can find this angle here that is the angle of inclination so let's say theta is equal to the arc tan of the gradient between a and b now I have a and b and I can use my gradient formula to find the, that gradient and now what I can also find and here's a negative angle I can also find this angle here I'm gonna to have to write small let's call that alpha okay I can find that angle there so alpha would equal tan negative one of the gradient between this time it's uh, the alpha is the positive x-axis on CB so CB great so I've got theta and alpha is that helpful at all well hopefully you can then just with some savvy see okay if that is theta there then um, these are this should be theta too 
we call it vertically opposite angles so these two angles are the same this uh, let me not do that try and draw it better this should also be theta okay so those two have the same size and then hopefully you can see the angle that I'm trying to calculate is in fact in a triangle and so um, I could say this is a hundred and eighty degrees minus alpha minus theta and then get the angle that they've required now it's not always going to be this exact method but you can always any two lines that intersect or, or any angle that you need to find of two points or three points um, that are made you can always simply use the the angles and just draw it in draw everything in get the the as many angles as you can using your angle of inclination formula which is uh, which is that the gradient is equal to the arc tan of the inclination angle great thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next video i'll look at some properties that we can prove to show that points make a parallelogram or a rectangle things like that we'll see you there